Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Down here today doing a little straightening up. Shop's pretty messy. Uh, I want to give y'all a little update video because I know I ain't put one out in about three weeks. But uh, I've been home a couple weeks now and uh, a week before that we went on a cruise to uh, the Western Caribbean on the Carnival Cruise Lines and really had a very fun time. Unfortunately, that was a week of sunshine here because ever since we've been back it's been raining. It rained pretty much all week. Well, it, it rained through Wednesday of last week and then uh, I didn't get all my hay cut before I left so I went to cutting hay Thursday and then of course Sunday it rained on it and then my hay rake broke and uh, so the hay just laid in the field getting more rain. It's rained every day since Sunday, so day Wednesday. Uh, it rained a little bit this morning. It hadn't rained this evening. I'm hoping it'll dry out a little bit, but uh, went and ordered me a bunch of parts from my rake. Uh, we'll be doing pretty much a rebuild of the rake. Uh, not quite as heavy as I did on the mower but definitely all the bearings I'm going to go through and make sure everything's good. So, we've got a lot of projects on, on the burner. They just ain't none of them done yet. They're cooking. And most of them just waiting on parts and, uh, and waiting on better weather. It's, it's 80 degrees a day, but it feels like it's 90. It's been so humid down here in Georgia. It's been unreal every day. It's just humid. But uh, I kind of feel like I need to get in here and get some stuff done. Uh, shot some video the other day of something I was going to try to get posted, but end up having to order parts for my lawnmower. Uh, and this ain't the this ain't the one that came off of it, but this is the one I thought might work, but didn't work. So you might see that I may post a video of that pretty soon. Seems to be working fine right now using the old spindle but it is making a little bit of racket so I may put a video up of that or if it ain't on this channel it'll be on the, my farm boys garage channel but one of them will have a video of the uh, removing a spindle from a craftsman lawnmower uh, which was pretty fun I ended up having to use my three jaw puller to get the pulley off and the lawnmower is running good though since I've replaced this crappy carburetor Run, actually running really well. But, uh, yeah, so every time I go to shoot a video the last couple weeks, it's either been raining or you know, I just had to stop more parts. Well, let me sh uh, show you about this rake. So here's one of the rake bars. Uh, this is the one that broke free and jammed up and pretty much ran my day Sunday trying to get this hay bailed. I'll show you my hay out here. And probably the grass is going to get taller than the where I got raked, but a lot of it hadn't been raked. All this right in here hadn't been raked. So, got that far and my rake broke. But anyway, what happened was the barren flange was wore out, so the barren just kept popping out. It did it, it did it Saturday, and I thought I replaced that barren with a newer barren, and it seemed to be holding pretty good, but then it popped out again Sunday. So I've ordered all new uh, bearing flanges. I've ordered a bunch of new bearings. I've ordered a bunch of tines because all these tines, uh, like a lot of them are bent, like that one. You can see that. And a lot of them are just broke, like that one. So that is missing one there. So I ordered uh, those little metal things right there and a bunch of tines and I'll have to get me some bolts because I might have to cut every bolt off this thing but so there's one there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen should be eighteen tines per bar I've ordered twenty five tines so probably gonna end up having to order a bunch more some of these might be usable for right now but anyway we're gonna get on that so that'll be coming up and there's the rake sitting out here and uh, 
was thinking about trying to get a new rake, but I tell you, it's just so expensive for new equipment when you just do a few acres a year. I mean, we got maybe, what, 10 acres of hay at most that we fool with. I mean, you got to really have a lot of field to, to afford a new rake or even a good used rake. So it's just easier for us just to rebuild what we got. I couldn't believe I could get parts for this old mass version, but uh, apparently it ain't as old as I thought. Now, I figured it was from the 60s. 50s or 60s, but I think it may be from the 70s or 80s, but anyway, still get parts for it, thankfully. So that's one one project on the burner. There's the other project on the burner. I hadn't done anything with this thing since I got it to run. Uh, still need to clean it up, still need to post it for sale. So that that's going to get done eventually. And of course, this little project back here, this hood, it's got to be sanded and fixed and painted. I may start on it today. So I know a lot of folks have been asking me, when am I going to get back on this truck? And I was hoping to get back on it in May. Here it is, the end of May. Hopefully I'll get back on it sometime next month, or in June rather. But you know, I've got to figure out how I'm going to straighten this frame out, this diamond that's in this frame, and get the bed and the cab lined up. It's going to be a lot of work, I'm afraid, to have to loosen everything back up and try to shift stuff around. But it's got to get done because I want this thing out of here. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it being in here and taking up room. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, and I appreciate all my loyal subscribers and people comments and you know leave thumbs up or even the thumb downs I don't really care about if you leave a thumbs down but uh, I know most of my subscribers don't leave thumbs up or thumbs down but appreciate y'all that do and I appreciate the comments so that being said I think I'm gonna give away a little surprise giveaway right here and the first thing is gonna be this Stanley screwdriver. All right, so this is one of them kinds of six-way screwdrivers. Handy as hell to have around the house. It's got, uh, uh, you know, you got your two two sizes of Phillips head, two sizes of flat head, and you also got a five sixteenths and a uh, quarter inch drive on it. So really handy to have. And the second thing is something I've, I've got myself, and it it really, to me, comes in handy, is this bit set. It's a Dewalt bit set, and of course it's got your driver in it. And uh, so this little driver right here, you can put all these different bits in. And then some of them's double bitted, and then you got a couple of really long bits right here. Now, uh, these come in handy, especially when putting up like window blinds where you got to get through that hole and most of the time your bit's too short and you're just pushing on that little bracket trying to get that screw in that window blind bracket and it's, man, it's a mess. But uh, So this one's got Phillips, it's got square, square bits, it's got uh, flat heads, and it's got combinations. It's got a couple drivers, it's got a 5 sixteenths and a quarter inch. So there they are. So the lucky winner is going to get both of these just because you stayed and watched this video. So uh, if you want to be entered in this video, leave a comment and say, glad you're back. That's all you got to say is glad you're back. Don't say, I want to be in the contest because I don't want everybody to open the video and say oh what's going on so just glad you're back and uh, you'll be entered so until then thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe if you haven't